Hi, in today's video we are going to discuss keywords, what they are, their importance, and how to decide which to use. Let's start by talking about what keywords are. When you do a search with Google, you might type in your question when you are looking for information. So if you're trying to find the benefits of vegetarianism, you might just type out, what are the benefits to being a vegetarian? That might work in Google, but it won't work for dot library databases. Instead, you'll need to break up the concepts you're searching for and search for those instead. These concepts are called keywords. Since we'll be discussing vegetarianism, you can count that as your first keyword. This is a pretty broad topic though, and if you search it alone, you might get thousands and thousands of articles, so we'll want to come up with a few keywords that you can search. We can start by taking your thesis or research question and narrow down the big ideas from there. For example, let's say I'm writing a paper and my thesis is vegetarianism is not only beneficial for the environment, but also for animals. We can start by writing that down. Now let's circle any important concepts. I'll start by circling vegetarianism because that seems important to me. Next, I'll look at beneficial. Since this indicates a positive aspect and I want to find articles discussing all aspects of research, for right now, I'll hold off on that. Next, I'll include environment and animals because these are concepts that relate directly to vegetarianism and what I'll be looking at in my paper. Now we have our main keywords that we can use to search. We can search them individually, but we can also get more tailored specific results by searching them together using the word and. For example, we can look up vegetarianism, but we'll get better results if we look up vegetarianism and the environment. So our three main keywords are listed here. Another way to get more articles that apply to our research is to search similar keywords. To do that, we'll take the keywords that we have listed here and we'll start listing synonyms. So, for example, let's take vegetarianism and think of all the synonyms that we can think of. Just a quick note, if you find and think of a synonym that's a phrase, make sure that you put quotes around it so that the database is searching the exact phrase. So for vegetarianism, we might try plant-based diet, we might think of vegan, and maybe meatless Mondays. Then we can do this for an environment and animals as well. So now we have nine synonyms listed here and three main keywords. We can try picking any of these and combining them to do a search. We could choose vegan and methane or vegetarianism and animal rights and see what different results we can get from the different combinations. Sometimes it's hard to come up with synonyms. If that happens, then one place you can search is within the article itself. If we do a search for vegetarianism and pick an article, there are keywords or subjects listed that can also give you some ideas. Not all of them could be helpful, but some of them can be. Here we see animal products, which might be helpful, but we might not want to use the term commercial products. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to chat on our homepage by clicking our orange Ask the Librarian button at the bottom, or feel free to email us at askthelibrarian at northampton.edu.